UFC featherweight division fight. For my money, might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division. A true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight. Maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling. Uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere What's going near on your YouTube? bracket. No, you don't want to be the playing school UFC, and goddamn, yo. Ladies and gentlemen, this but, uh, one is three rounds at the UFC. Keep getting all these all-ass fighters. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 13 wins. We got this place in UFC 4. Have been really recording lately. Been busy with work. And live. Oh, this For everybody watching this, okay. And Corona free. And this stress for you and whatnot. Special record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Charles Boston. Is his nickname the Boston Crab? And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? Ready to go for round one, and this young man's popularity absolutely soared on the strength of what he did his last time out. Oh. It was a win by flush knockout, kept his winning streak intact with style points, and now the challenges get decidedly more tougher. Whoa! Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! oh. Yeah, you, you, you fucking done. Fucking done. Come on. Let's go. Whoa! Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. He's done. He's done. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, we're just getting going. And now the fight is going to be hard. I thought it was going to be hard. I thought it was going to be hard. Hey. Sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, Like, I ain't played this game in like a good week. Only upgraded like my health and my punch power by like a half a star. And that's what it does now. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official what the decision. What the hell? Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at one minute, three seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by Oh, well, I guess this is going to be a short-ass video. Tonight, the celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are few better feelings that. in the world than walking into an octagon. And I ain't even getting no get points. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a are lot you of serious? time for the knockout. But he was I didn't get any, like, upgrade sure points. Done, and he did exactly that. Congrats. 
see, no evolution points, so I could upgrade my character. Like, oh, goddamn. Take that by the bitch. Oh, maybe because it's well, it's health. I believe his health is on like three stars. Probably because he's old as fuck. So. Guess I'll just show who I'm fighting next, I guess. Jeez. Ooh! I don't know where that. Somebody post on social media. I don't know who that is. Let's see if I can fight him. This actual person, because I'm tired of fighting bots. He look real, so I think he's real. I guess this the end of the video, I guess. I wasn't expecting a first round knockout. So, if you liked the video, leave it a thumbs up. Got anything to say in the comment section. If you subscribed, I don't know why the hell you ain't. You should be. Watch all this good content. But, I'm going to head out and y'all have a good night or a day. Whatever time it is that you're watching this.